Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at getting online with our MoTeC M1 using our M1 Tune software. We're going to be taking a look at some basic functionality while we're online in this training module. And again, just getting more familiar and comfortable with our M1 Tune software as we go through each tutorial. The first thing I want to point out here is that I'm in the offline mode. Offline means that I don't have my Ethernet cable connected to my laptop or my vehicle or M1 isn't powered on. So in this case, I am sitting in my vehicle, I have the ignition key powered on, and my MoTeC M150 is powered on as well. The engine is not running. Now in this case, I don't have my Ethernet cable plugged in to my laptop. So I need to go ahead and plug the Ethernet cable in so I can establish communication between my laptop and the M1 software and the actual M150 that's fitted to my vehicle here. So we're in the offline mode and we want to get online. Now, in my case, my laptop does not have a native Ethernet port. I'm using a USB-C to Ethernet adapter that I picked up off Amazon. You may find that your laptop has an Ethernet port and that's great, you can plug it right in there, but you might need an adapter in order to plug in your Ethernet cable through the wiring harness that you have for your MoTeC M1 series box. Let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick. So I'm gonna simply plug in my ethernet cable and we should automatically detect the ECU. We can find right down here at the bottom, it's gonna show here one ECU is discovered. Now I'm still in the offline mode. I haven't paired through the ethernet connection cable, the actual M1 software to my M150 box. We can do a couple different things here, but if we go to our quick launch icon, we can go here to open an ECU. We can see the specific ECU I'm working with here, my MoTeC M150, and that's going to be the serial number. That's what we can connect to. So automatically it'll populate for us to either connect and get online with our M1 box, or alternatively, we could go ahead and open up a package in the offline mode still. We don't necessarily have to connect to the box. Now I want to get live with the box and take a look at this process here. So I'm going to go ahead and click open an ECU. This is automatically going to retrieve security, firmware, tuning data, essentially take the package that's loaded to my M150 box and display it up here so I can see it and start to navigate and work with it. Now in this case, we're live now with our MoTeC box. So any changes, any data that we're looking with would be live data. Now I have the vehicle powered off, so we're gonna see here things like my engine speed, that's not working or doing anything. We can see other readings such as our map pressure that's showing uh, the ambient pressure, 101 kPa. So we're seeing that we have some data coming in here as we're taking a look at some of our information. Now, in this situation, we have some choices of what we can do. We can obviously start to calibrate and tune. We're not gonna get into that yet. What we wanna do is save our package out of our MoTeC and save it to our laptop so we have that as the original package. So we know if we're making changes to this, we at least have this as the backup package and we can always reload this back into the MoTeC. So how do we go ahead and essentially save our package? If you're familiar with any other standalone tuning, you'll find that you usually do a file save as, save it as a unique name, and then you can go in and start to make changes to that specific file that you're saving. MoTeC's a little bit different. Let's go and take a look at this. If we go up here to the top and we go to file, we will find the option save as. Now, save and save as do not function the way it normally would in other standalone systems. This is going to be saving the particular package and your calibration data that you're working with. It's going to save it to the MoTeC, but it's going to be storing it to the permanent flash memory on the MoTeC. If you're making changes, let's say you're just making live changes into something like we have our spark timing table open here, and you don't do a save or a save as, what will happen is if you power down your MoTeC, and or disconnect the ethernet line from your laptop uh, that's connected to your MoTeC, you'll find that it's not going to permanently store the changes as you're making them in this live data type of streaming. It's not gonna permanently store those to the flash drive. It'll store them to the RAM memory, but not permanently store it to the flash drive. So you'll be in a situation where you've made, calibrated and tuned for quite a bit of time, but you haven't actually committed the changes permanently to the MoTeC. And that's what the save and save as functions do here in our drop down. So this isn't functioning as just saving the file or the package so you can have that as, again, your origin or different uh, tiers as you're calibrating and tuning your MoTeC box. It's not gonna go ahead and save that as a specific file that will commit the changes to the permanent flash memory to your MoTeC. What we wanna do here is do a export as. 
can export as is going to export the package, including the firmware, security, and tuning data to a file that we can work with. And this is gonna be equivalent to a zip file. So it's gonna have all this information built into the actual file. And we can go here and try that option right here. So if we do an export as, we're gonna find that it's gonna allow you to export it as a package archive. And it's gonna have the designation here, .m1 package archive. Now, there's two existing package archives here on my desktop. These are both John Reed Racing packages. These are third-party firmware packages from John Reed and one is a vehicle specific and one is universal. So we can see I was able to have these files emailed to me. So the purpose of doing this is to number one, have an actual physical file that you can load back to your M1. Let's just say you have to send it out to MoTeC to get repaired. They're gonna wipe the file off of it. So you wanna have a copy of that original file or that tune file. That's what the package file is gonna allow you to have. Or if you need to email the package file to someone, let's say you're working with a tuner or you're sending it to someone else just to have them compare, look at the data in it, you're gonna be able to save it to this package format, be able to share that through an email. So that's kind of the purpose of working with these packages. Now, right here, it's gonna show that it's gonna save it as this type, and then the file name is gonna go ahead and being able to give you some kind of a custom file name. Now, what I like to do is not save them to my desktop. So what I'm gonna do here is I wanna save this package which is the original equivalent MoTeC package that's loaded into my M150 that it was shipped for MoTeC. So it's a G, uh, G, GPRP package. And I'm going to save this just as original. And then I can go ahead and immediately save another package as just say testing or tuning. So I'm not overwriting the original package for MoTeC, just so I have that as a backup. So how do we do this? If we jump in here and let's go into uh, our libraries and we're going to go to documents and where there's going to be a MoTeC folder in here We can see it right here already generated when we install the software We'll double click and we can see it's going to be an M1 folder Thanks for checking out our teaser clip if you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training We have to offer make sure you click right here if you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course Click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos are going to be releasing on this channel So make sure you subscribe and click here Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.